Greetings, everybody. Welcome to day 17 of albums that are 45 years old in 2023. Celebrating 1978, great year, and the coming of the spring this year with albums that are 45 years old and we're going to the end of the month. 31 albums. And today we're going to do an out or a band, an album from a band that started in 1976, made up of half American, half British. Uh, that band is, of course, Foreigner. Of course, named because of the British American, you know, thing here. Uh, formed by a British guitarist and songwriter Mick Jones, fellow Britain and King. Crimson member, ex King Crimson member Ian McDonald, along with American vocalist Lou Graham, uh, Dennis Elliott, Great Britain, Al Greenwood, and Ed Garaldly. <laughs> Apologies if I mispronounced these names. Uh, and they're still going strong today, though Lou Graham's no longer with them. But anyway, today we're celebrating their second album, which of course is Double Vision. And I'll wake up my phone here. I hate when these things go sleep. And well, I had it on here. There we go. Cell phones, you gotta love them. There we go. Okay, I don't. I had this album at one point. What happened to it? I have no idea. There it is, Double Vision, band members. Of course, I'm not a big fan of uh, albums with band members on the cover. But that's, you know, the first two albums, that's what you got. This was released in June 20th, 1978. And of course, quite a few hit that hits are the still are played on the radio today. Hot blooded, check it and see. I've got a fever of a hundred and three. <laughs> blue morning, blue day, and to see things my way. Uh, and of course, title track Double Vision. Of course, there's a lot of deep, good deep track on here. You're all, a, you're all I am, I'm back where you belong, love has taken its toll, instrumental tramp, trampoline, I have, a, have waited so long, uh, lonely children, and spellbinder. Fantastic album. Though it comes in second, to my favorite all-time Foreigner album, which is uh, Can't <laughs> Brain Fart, Good Grief, yeah, Head Games. God, can get double vision out of my mind. I love head, head Games, but Double Vision is. Really, really close second to that one for me. And I believe this was the last album with all the original members on it. I think Ed left after this one. Yeah, Ed left, 
Rick Wills joined on, on bass. I believe Ed didn't like the way the band was going. Of course, that's what usually happens when a band member leaves or the most common reason. But anyway, definitely check out Double Vision. Uh, of course, everybody, you know, the reception they got was great. Uh, Los Angeles Times said slickly produced, commercially powered, but artistically vaped. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> vaped. Funny they had that word back then, you know, vape nowadays, vaped is what you, you know, that vaping. Um, and I remember the first time I heard this album was in high school. We had, uh, I believe our math teacher, who was also the band teacher, needed to grade some papers. And uh, the same scenario when I first heard Kiss's Destroy album. He told people, if you want to bring some something to listen to, I got papers to grade, so we're not going to do our regular classwork. We'll be in the band room, so bring something. And one of the girls bought Foreigner Double Vision. I, of course, bought ELO's Out of the Blue, which... Intrigued, Mr. Wise. In fact, he asked me after class ended, right before class ended, you know, what, who was that? And I told him ELO. So I think I made a, a another fan early on. <laughs> so, uh, of course, you know, this was back when I basically started my rock and roll journey, and I. I liked the music. I wasn't enthralled at first, but when uh, head games head head games came out, and I heard "Dirty White Boy" and "Women" and "Love on the Telephone," you know, this that's what pulled me into Foreigner, and I've loved them ever since. So, anyway, check them out. Please subscribe. I know I know I'm not the most beautiful and best speaker ever but I I'm trying I'm trying that's all you can do in life is try do your best I do love music I love talking about it uh, the problem with doing and I've said this before problem with doing a video by yourself is talking to a camera which uh, doesn't well how would I put it there's no banter you know there's no discussion you know you're you know you're talking to a camera that can't talk back well thankfully it can't talk back but you know what I mean uh, I would love to get some people on here and you know do some shows with other people Maybe down the road, we'll have to see. But talking to a camera, I'm trying to, <laughs> it's not my stimulating sometimes, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, please subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Get more subscri uh, subscribers on here. Um, hit the notification bell, hit the like. It all, this all helps my channel out. Uh, also, leave your own uh, favorite album from 1978. Your own listing for the whole month, in fact, if you want to. Leave a comment. Keep it nice. Uh, rude comments. Uh, awful comments will be all deleted. Uh, there's no sense putting negative stuff up. Um, I'm very against negative stuff.
it serves no purpose. You know, it's like, I don't like country. I do love some country music, but I do not, as a whole, like country. But I'm not going to go out out of my way and say, tell people, you know, hey, country sucks, you know. You suck, you know. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. It serves no purpose except to make bad feelings. And that's not what this channel is about. If you like country, great. If you like rock and roll and country, great. I mean, we all have our likes. You know, I like some classical stuff. But, you know, there's some things that in rock and roll, some bands in rock and roll I do not like, and you'll never get me to like them. Rolling Stones is one. Do they suck? No. But I just don't care for them. Um, you know, there's quite a few of the bands I can name off, but I'm not going. I'm not going to do that. So anyway, check this album out, and we'll see you on day 18 tomorrow. Have a good one.